Hello everyone, it's Rhonda, your Cheshire Canary. I've been gone for a bit, but there is a good reason. Um, and now it's time to reveal what's been going on and mm, start a new journey, okay? Um, and I really would like to build up this channel, it would be nice. And I'm working on it with, uh, my dear, dear friend from Alaska, who's now in Ohio, um, Carl Brook from Grandpa's Farm, slash Grandpa's Farm Go Sailing. So, anyhow, um, I've been pretty ill. October, I threw three blood clots, um, two to my lungs and one to my heart, and, um... I've been recovering from it. I should have made it back to work by December. Really didn't have the energy. I've been taking all of my meds, which I don't have insurance, so I'm paying for it all on my own. Um, and I now don't have a job because I'm far beyond FMLA. But I should have been back to work December 11th, and I wasn't. So, um, I'm making it with a high school senior who got accepted to my old college, Wright State University, and got accepted into the dorm program, and she's planning on teaching English. I wonder where she got that from. Um, I'm proud as heck for her, and she'll be graduating soon. Anyhow, um, I got the phone call, and the meds weren't doing their job. Um, my heart is uh, incapacitated by about 12% and I need to have an internal um, cardiac defibrillator implanted. So, that'll be the journey that I'm on. Um, I was told it'll be within the next week or two so I'm going to do my best to chronicle my entire um, journey having a cardiac defibrillator um, implanted. Um, you know, I could put all kinds of stuff on here explaining what it is, but there's a lot of stuff on YouTube if you just... Um, search ICD and you'll see everything from the procedure to put it in to questions that patients you know sh ask their doctors or should have asked to complications that some patients had um, I'm very confident of the cardiac team that uh, Mount Carmel East has and I'm looking forward to uh, just moving on. Um, for the past two months, I've been walking around with this monstrosity. Hold on a second. There we go. This is a life vest by the manufacturer Zoll. Um, I wear a vest that I found out on uh, airport security. It looks like a bomb. Uh, you know, a bomb vest. That's not what it is. Um, it monitors my heart. If I go into um, any kind of weird um, vibrations or... or Rhythm, that's it. Um, this box will kick into effect and shock my heart back into rhythm. Um, it, I've had it for over two months now. It has never gone off, except for when one of the electrodes has turned over, just because it happens. Or I walked into a field at the airport. It went off a couple of times scared me to death but that's okay I called and there's nothing wrong um, and there hasn't been a need 
for uh, the vest to go off. So, come along with me on my journey. Um, I may even do a little bit of um, behind the scenes, non-medical. I haven't decided yet. Um, I'm kind of working on that with my daughter and seeing how much my pride gets in the way. Um, love you all. If you aren't already, please like, share, and subscribe. I love new members to my family. Um, I'm hoping to get back to music. It looks like it's going to be a little longer. Because uh, I have four to six weeks of not being able to use my left arm and kind of need that to play. So, <laughs> <coughs> so, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> <coughs> sorry about that. Um, so, we'll see how it goes. Love you all. Like, share, subscribe. Hit that little bell in the corner too. And I will see you all next week. Take care and keep smiling.